So this is how I'm gonna start the day. Now this is gonna be an amazing day for sure, but this is how I'm gonna start my day. Uh, Y'all just gonna have to hold on and wait for Yappy just a little longer. I'll be back for you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Davis, so tell me about this airplane that you're fixing to put me in. Well, I've had this airplane uh, for about five or six years now. After I got back into flying, started in I-17, found this airplane one owner up in uh, Illinois. Uh, we soundproofed it, new paint, new engine, new avionics. Pl airplanes have a pretty long lifespan. They actually quit making this airplane in 2008. So it's kind of like a minivan in the air is what we call them. Great. So you're taking Soccer Dad, putting him in a minivan that flies. There you go. And, and they don't make it anymore. And I'm supposed to be real comfortable with this. Oh yeah, you're good. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, well let's, uh, let's take off and go get some bees. How about that? Let's do it. All right. Sometimes when they're a little warm, I... So we're on the ground, and what, now here, which airport are we at? Uh, Warren County Memorial. That's Romeo November Charlie by the Airplane World. Airplane World. How was uh, how was my flying skills? Man, you were awesome. I'm telling Just you, going in the right direction and take off. We had to go through a, a five-minute, very in-depth training course on how to fly an airplane. I think I did pretty good. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, I mean, we just about. We'll be landing it on the way home. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm ready. What about takeoff? Can I take off? I think we'll give it a whirl. All right. For sure. Hey. You know, this is a real tough comparison between bees and flying an airplane. Bees flying an airplane. It's a tough call. Yeah. All right. I have the experience of both, so I'm, I'm kind of saying it's a 50-50. Yeah, you're a pro at both. Yeah, but now we headed to the house. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. 
we have flown all the way up here to meet these ladies how about that pretty cool huh the uh the dryer vent kind of come back out off from the wall and they have decided to find their way in so this is gonna be interesting we did have a beekeeper that came out and had a great idea in theory um take the little flower pot put a hose in the end of it try to run them in there you know basically doing a, a trap out let's go inside take a look and see if we can't figure out where they're at how's that you're up you're like a horse do you eat that much huh do you eat that much they're starting to come out all right so you ended up we seen this here there's our bees Looks like probably about a nice, about two pounds. So what we're gonna do is, I got, I got, I got nowhere to work. I mean, there's floor right there. I got really nowhere to get in here. So our first thought is gonna be, try to go through the outside and actually get them before I have to come back in here and cut a hole in this wall. So we're gonna take this pipe out. We're we'll disconnect it right there and go. Let's we'll see how this works. And there's our bees, and they're pissed. They're pissed, pissed, pissed. So, we're about to have a little bit of fun to try to get these girls out of here. There's my bees. They are bringing it in like mad. Let's get, let's get everything out here, get it together, and get some work done. How's that? So I'm going to try to get in here with the Colorado Bee Vac. Uh, I pulled the, the normal... Uh, tube off to where I'm just short and I'm right there at them. We're going to try to vacuum out the bees. There's probably not much of a chance on this that I'm going to end up actually pulling a piece to come out and catching the queen. Um, there's there's minimal comb, but it's there, she, so I know she's in there. But uh, I mean, I'm pretty much I'm working by feel here instead of by sight. So this is going to be interesting. To this is definitely going to be interesting. Okay, so in theory, the going through that vent hole was, uh, you know, kind of an idea, but in reality, it's not going to work out. There's a lot more comb, not much, but there's more comb than I originally anticipated and a little bit more bees. We're going to have to go through that wall. Uh, I'm going to have to cut uh, a, a PVC pipe that is for the uh, vacuum system, and I'm going to have to uh, move a wire. We'll go ahead and cut the drywall. We're just going to uh, kind of keep going on just to like a normal removal and uh, repair costs will be minimal, but uh, you know, we got to do the job right. We're going to have to open up a little bit. Customer's good with it. So let's get in there and uh, see what it looks like from the other side. Inquiring minds want to know 
Now you've seen me fly your airplane. Yeah. All right, and you've seen me remove your bees. That's right. So of the two, which do you feel I do better? Uh, let's go with bees. We'll go with bees? Yeah, we'll go with okay. bees. We don't know how we're going to get the bees home. <laughs> we're debating on this one. I so am far. a little nervous about putting those ever how many thousands of bees there we was, got in the there airplane. There was every bit of three, probably, we're just going to say safely we got three pounds of bees, 35. So there's 10, somewhere between 10 and 12,000 bees. Yeah, that's a little nervous putting in the airplane. I can see a little turbulence yeah. or something like that and then getting out of the cage. Uh, I don't know sure what we'd do. Yeah. <laughs> do you have parachutes? No parachutes. Does the plane uh, have no. parachute? No. Does it float? No, sir. Not long. It will have been. All right. Does it have a stewardess? Uh, no. Not unless we go around one up. Cold drinks and peanuts? We can bring. We can bring some. We bring some with. I don't know. That's about most of all I can think to ask right now. I'll have more. David, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank it's you, been Travis. a pleasure. You bet. Y'all, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.